Menda intends to run a business of selling mineral water, he needs to order at least 10 small bottles and at most 60 large bottles of water. He decides, uh, he decides to order at, at most 8 bottles of water altogether and the number of large bottles he orders should be at least twice that of uh, small bottles. All right, so with this question on linear program, there are basic things you need to understand. Uh, you need to understand the language. What at least, at least means, if it's X, at least it means X should be greater or equal to whatever value you've been given. And at most, at most means less, this same thing you're talking about, if it's X value, should be less or equal to whatever you're talking about. If it's Y, for at least Y should be greater, okay? Or equal to whatever you're talking about. Then a, uh, Y should be less or equal to whatever you're talking about if it's at most. So now they have said, we write there, uh, four inequalities. So the first one will be on uh, at least 10. And we've been told that small bottles will be represented by X and then uh, big bottles by Y. So at least X, at least we know that it's greater or equal to 10. At least 10 small bottles. So this is the equation one or inequality one. Two, they've said at most, at most we know that it's supposed to be uh, less. Okay, so whatever whatever variable we'll be talking about is supposed to be less. So in this case, they've said at most sixty large bottles. Large bottles, it's y. So at most should be less. Or equal to uh, 60. Go to the next one. Question number three. They have said, and this is A, they have said, uh, it's time to order at most eight bottles of water altogether. So altogether, meaning small plus big, should not exceed 60, uh, 80 should be less or equal to 80, which it means at most. And then the fourth, the number of large bottles he orders should be at least large bottles. Large we know, at least it's greater or equal to twice small bottles. Twice, meaning two of these small bottles should be less or equal to this larger bottles so we have formed our we have written our inequalities and then the next question says using the scale of two centimeters to represent 10 bottles on each axis draw x axis x and y axis for zero is less or equal to x less or equal to 80 and zero is less or equal to y less or equal to 80 respectively and shared the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the uh, solutions of the inequalities will lie. So here, I can advise you to be using this uh, this part. So mostly it's in the corner, and here it's supposed to be like this. So this is our x-axis, x-axis, since they have said 2 centimeters to represent 10 units, so we know this is 0, so this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. 
it's here i'm using a smaller graph paper so this is also 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 this is y axis so now we can put our inequalities i'll start with x is greater or equal to 10 so go where 10 is is here and then this is how the equation will look like it will pass on eh? on 10 so when uh, you have one variable for example x axis is greater or equal to 10 meaning this line is passing on 10 unless it's there are two variables so we have x so it's passing on 10 so it's greater or equal to so greater is this side if you see this line greater is this side and less is this side so what it says it's greater so we're shading the opposite which is less this side so that's a part we are shading we go to the next which says y is less or equal to 60 so you go to the y axis since we are talking about one variable and check where 60 is it's here make your line like this and they have said it's less so which side is less less is down here so why is less is down here so meaning you shade the opposite which is the grade up here we go to the next one which says x plus y is less or equal to 80 so meaning this line is passing on 80 it will cut y axis on 80 and the x axis on 80 here so what you can do here you get your your ruler and check where 80 is is here and let it also pass where 80 is here so the line will look like this this is how the line will look like and then they have said it's less so less is down here we shade the opposite which is the greater this side is the side we are we are shading okay we go to the next one which says y is greater or equal to 2x on this one you have to be very careful so what you what you need to do on this one is to come up with your table i know people face challenges on graphing such kind of equation so you can come up with your table this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis okay if you want you can make your table look like this this is x and this is y so table values just pick two points so if i'll pick mostly i like picking zero so i'll pick x is equal to zero from here and then i also pick the next one which is x is equal to 10 i'll put here so x is equal to zero and x is equal to 10. so now these values i'll put i'll try to put them in my equation this equation the equation i'm about to graph over here so if i put them i'll solve for y so this will be like this and then I'll put x where they I'll put zero where there is x, and then I'll solve. When x is equal to zero, y will be also be equal to zero. So I found here the coordinates, the first set of coordinates. So I can forget about this. Again, I get the same equation. So this time around I'll say 10. When x, what is y when x is equal to 10? I'll put 10 where there is uh, x here then when i solve i'll find that y will be equal to 20 because 2 times 10 is 20 so meaning my coordinates here i'll put 20 so it will be 10 comma 20 0 comma 0 so i'll come to my my cartesian plane here so 0 comma 0 it's here the next one is 10 comma 20 
So 10 here, comma 20 is here. So I have two points which can help me draw the line. I have 0, comma 0 and 10, comma 20. So these two lines, I'll join them. I'll join these two points to form a line. So when I join them, my line will move like this. Okay. So we can see nicely. And uh, it says Y is greater. So greater is this side. And I'll shade the opposite side, which is less down here. So if you can see, the region is here. Our arrow is here. So we need these coordinates. All right. So we are done with this one. We go to the next question, which says the profit uh, on the sale of each small bottle of mineral water is 1.5 kwacha while on each large bottle of mineral water profit is 2.5 kwacha how many bottles of each type can be bought to make maximum profit when trying to work out this kind of a question we come up with what we call objective uh, function where we we'll get 2.5 kwacha which is being uh, which is standing for the profit of uh, small bottles and we know small bottles are represented by x so we say 1.5 x plus 2.5 y 2.5 is for large bottles is equal to we don't know so this will help us find the number of bottles each type can be bought each type can be bought so now, uh, what we need to do here is to identify the coordinates. So this is uh, 20, 60. Since we have found the objective equation. And then this one is uh, here. It's 20, 27, here it's 50, 50, 53. 27,53. Then here it's a uh, ten comma twenty. Here is a uh, ten comma sixty. So what we we'll do here, we can try all these coordinates. For example, let me get this one. So you say fifteen. I mean one point five multiplied by twenty. X axis is twenty plus two point five multiplied by sixty, which will give us uh, something like one eighty. And then you can also try the other coordinates. So you try. You can even plug in these. You you do the same for the x axis. You put here y-axis you put here and solve you see what you get so i've just picked this one because i know that this is the one which will give us the maximum when you get these coordinates you solve they will give you here they'll give you 30 plus here they'll give you 150 when you multiply and the answer will be 180 what we found here so you can say for question uh, for question uh, question C you can say uh, 20 small bottles and 60 large bottles so where have I gotten this? These are the coordinates which are giving us the maximum. These and this. So when you put here, you check the number you get. You put this, you check the number you get. So the, the, the coordinates which will give you the highest value is what you need to get. And in this case, if you try all these, these are the ones which are giving us the highest uh, 
number or the highest uh, value of money. So it's 20 small bottles and 60 large bottles. So C, you've answered. And for D, D is very easy. They are saying, hence find the maximum profit. What the maximum, the number that you are getting, the amount you are getting here is the maximum. So you just put, which is 180. Done. This is how you answer this question. Thank you.